Hey everyone, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, in for output. And today I want to discuss the relationship between your bass line and your kick drum. In my opinion, the drummer and the bass player has the toughest positions within the band. For one, the drummer has to keep rhythm, and two, the bass player has to follow that kick pattern that the drummer is playing. It's always sort of a back and forth and they have to follow each other. Your kick drum and your bass line should always be living happily ever after, sort of have a happy marriage. They should be one and together in its own right. Now I do say that with slight reservation because the bass line can't go off and do its own riff or own pattern from time to time, but for the most part, they should be one unit. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explore two things with your bass line and kick. One, when your bass line has sort of a riff melody pattern or two, where your bass line is very simple, I'm gonna show you ways in which you can incorporate your kick to kind of flow nicely with that bass line. So let's get straight to it. Right here, we're gonna start off with a bass line that has sort of its own riff melody pattern. Let's go ahead and take a listen. So this bass sounds like it's carrying the rhythm of the track, so we're going to make sure that our kick follows along suit. So we can just go ahead and draw in a kick pattern here. We can start off with the very basic, I think a 4 to the floor will work well with this pattern. So we just go ahead and draw that in. That's really basic. If we want to go ahead and just match our kick drum to our bass, we're gonna hit our kick every so often where the bass hits just to give ourselves a nice rhythm and bounce. So let's leave that first kick in there. We'll put another kick over here. See how the kick tried to do its own thing over there and it sounded a little off because in this case the bass is leading the rhythm so we're going to push this kick a little bit back. So right there, that kick is following that bass line. And like I said, sometimes the bass line will lead the rhythm, sometimes your kick will lead the rhythm and the bass will follow suit. It's always a back and forth that is happening between the bass player and the drummer. But just think about always wanting these two to live nicely together. Because if the bass line is doing one thing and the kick line is doing another, it's not going to sound right to the listener. So that's just one side of the spectrum. That's if your bass is sort of controlling the rhythm. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how your bass can work when it's not really part of the rhythm track, it's sort of just an underlining tone to your record. All right, so let's just go ahead and move this over. I already have a predetermined bass line set in place. Let's unhide our tracks. Here it is over here. So here's an instance where the bass is subtle. It's not really driving the pattern. It's just sort of in the background. And you hear a lot of this in hip hop and rap music. So if we want to add a kick pattern to this, we actually have a lot of freedom here because the bass line isn't really doing anything. It's just sort of in the background. So we have more freedom with our kick pattern and how we want that to set. Let's go ahead and just bring in another kick here. So right there, as you can see, that kick is sort of controlling the rhythm of the track. And it's, it's a lot more freedom. I have a lot more freedom of how I want to record that kick drum. So here's how that sounds. So if I want to go ahead and just change up this pattern, I can. And it's not going to really affect the rhythm because the bass line is such... A simple one. Let's just take out some kicks. Let's just drag this mini note out. So with the 
bass line that is so simple like this, I can actually do a lot with my kick pattern, as you can see. So when you're producing out your tracks, always think about which one is controlling the rhythm. Is your kick drum controlling the rhythm? Is your bass line controlling the rhythm? Decide which one and then have the other one follow that and it'll make your song a whole lot tighter and sound more like one unit. So that is just something for you guys to think about when you're producing out your next set of tracks. Hope you guys like this tutorial. We'll see you all in the next one. Later.